You can really sharpen your pencil with this ingenious sharpener. It even tidies up for you. And I love this picture by Scott. It's such an original idea. He used pencil shavings for the peacock's feathers. A fiddly technique, but a brilliant result. Yeah, great picture, Scott. It's nice to see pencil shavings doing something good for a change. Usually, they make such a mess, don't they? You don't know where to put them. You end up having to go all around the house to sharpen your pencil in the bin. Not anymore. Why not bring the bin to you? And here it is. Look at that. Not only does it collect all your shavings, but it also sharpens your pencil for you. Watch this. Look at that. Perfect. To make a dustbin pencil sharpener, first find a pot like this, then a little way up from the bottom, use a sharp pencil and push a hole through. Now it can be a bit tough to do this, and you know my old motto, when the going gets tough, get someone else to do it for you. <laughs> then draw around the bottom of your pot twice onto some cardboard box card, cut the circles out and stick them together with some PVA glue so you have a little stack like this. And when the glue dries, take a pencil sharpener and place it just at the edge of your circle and draw around it. Now the idea is to create this pencil sharpener shape in the circle and then cut this little section out, but cut it out within the lines so that you then put the pencil sharpener back in and it's a nice tight fit. And you can always put some glue around the edge to keep it stuck firmly in place. Then put some more glue on the underneath of the card circle slot it on nice and thick like this and now the slightly tricky bit you need to line your pencil sharpener up with the hole at the bottom of the pot and then push your card circle all the way down into the pot you could use a ruler to do this but you need to make sure the pencil sharpener lines up with the hole and you could always pop in a pencil and jiggle it about just to make sure the position is right before the glue dries then scrunch up some newspaper and pad up the lid a little. See that? And you use lots of tape for this. Keep it firmly in place. One on there like that. And another one there. And then add on a small twist of newspaper to make a handle. Again, taping it on either side like this. Now for those little pokey out eyes, roll up two balls and tape them underneath the rim of the lid. And to make everything a bit neater, paste on a layer of tissue paper with PVA glue mixed with a little water. On it goes. And this will just toughen everything up. And on goes the tissue paper like that. So when you've covered it all and it's dry, it looks something like this. And I've even added some handles on the side as well. Then all you need to do is paint it. Now I've painted the bin with metallic silver paint and added some grey lines for detail. And I've even added a couple of black dots for the eyes. Good, isn't it? And not only does it look good, but it works too. You just pop your pencil in, give it a sharpen, and all the shavings go straight in the bin. Look at that.